So Summer Walker did an event where she she paid tribute to Mary J. Blige. And usually when you pay tribute to another singer, you sing their songs. It was called the Urban One Honors. Yes, that's what it was. Mm-hmm. And uh, Summer Walker did just that. She sang Mary J. Blige's songs to honor her. Yep. Did you see Mary's face? Mary put Mary has been doing very well with her acting classes. She's been she was she's been killing it. <laughs> nah, because Mary's face was like I'm not moving my uh, face at all. That's what I got. Ah, Mary in the, in one clip they zoomed in and Mary was bopping. She said, oh, "Okay, uh-huh. yeah, something. girl." Come on, baby. She been doing good with her acting classes. Keep up the good acting, Mary, because we know this shit was terrible. Let's imagine, listen. Imagine somebody. All right. Let's give it a listen. Mm-hmm. I'm going to plug my charger so we can. I'm gonna plug my charger back in while you, while you, you know, freeze the summer. And the people over at Shady Room really are some shady motherfuckers. And the reason I say that is because they posted this and said Summer Walker killed it, honoring Mary J. Blige. They are ridiculous. Okay. It says. It says. Oh, we don't want to hear it again. (laughs) Their post says. Their post says yes. Summer Walker killed her tribute performance to Mary J. Blige during the Urban One Honors. Yeah. She killed the dead. She killed the dead, right? Exactly. Now, let's, now okay. Let's oh. put her some bail. Wait, what's the saying? She killed the dead like whose goat? Miss Willis' goat. There they go. <laughs> <laughs> dead, dead, dead like Miss Willis' goat. Oh, shit. So, <laughs> all right. Go ahead. You ladies first. Come on. I'm going to start with love. Oh, man. I'm not. That's why you started. Go ahead. Here's the thing. Oh, always some bullshit when you say here the thing. Mm-hmm. And I feel like we've had this sort of conversation before. Not about this person, but just in general. There are times when you were asked to do something that you shouldn't have been asked to do in the first place. Yep. Summer Walker, to me, doesn't have the right sound, doesn't sing at the right level to sing Mary's songs. That is not any disrespect to Summer Walker that is, there are just some times where it just doesn't work. Some songs work, but it's like, if you ever watched American Idol, sometimes they'll tell you, you, you're a great singer, but that song wasn't the song for you. Okay. You need to, you need to, I mean, I had, I, I watched maybe the first season of American Idol and then moved on with my life. But if you've ever seen one of them singing shows or something like that, one of the things that they, they coach you on is that song may not be the right song for your sound. Mm-hmm. We know that Summer Walker is talented, so I don't want to sit here and disrespect her and act like she is not talented. She is absolutely talented. I have heard Summer, Summer Walker sing 
many other things we all have, and we know that Summer Walker can sing. This is all the love, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> all right. So to me, somebody asked her to do something, and I feel like some things you get asked to do, it's hard to say no. You can't really say no. You got to say yes. But maybe okay. you should have said no. Oh. Uh -huh. But you couldn't because of what it was. Oh, okay. And the Urban think... One Honors is so important that you got to you got to say yes to that. It's not about that. It was a tribute to Mary J. Blige. Who cares who who cares who did it? Who cares who hosted it? It was a tribute to Mary J. Blige. It's an honor to be asked to do that. That's so, true. I, so I I don't want to I, I, one, I don't want to diminish their their platform, but also I don't want to make it seem like you have a choice in this type of situation. It's kind of like, you know, it's kind of like when your boss says, hey, like, you don't, you don't have to do this, but I think maybe you might want to do this. They're telling you you should do this. You, you're right. shooting her a lot of bail right now because we have no information that says she was in that position. I don't know what position you, she was you in. are freestyling like you at Hot 97 but with Funk I Flex am, right next I to you. I am shooting her some bail because I do know that she's talented and I think we can agree that she is a talented singer. But this was not it. This was not it. She should not have done this. This was not good. This was not good. I heard it and I immediately said, oh, no, <laughs> what? No, I don't know if it was the song selection. Maybe there were other songs, but oh, my gosh, the first few seconds of Real Love, I didn't know it was Real Love. And Real Love is a song that when it comes on, the moment the beat drops, you know exactly what you're listening to. Yep. Very identifiable. So what happened here? Whose fault is this? Justice League? Is that is that them? No. no. That's um uh, uh uh love love renaissance. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Who is Love Renaissance? Isn't that her label? I don't know her label. I know Justin is in charge. Justice. Justice and Justice League are two different entities. And Justice is the black young guy who is her manager. Right. Justice League is a group of producers I know, I, I know, who I often said, work with Rick Ross. That's why I corrected myself and I said I, I got them mixed up, but I did say Love Renaissance, I believe, is is the label. I'm on my way to find out. Okay. Her, you know, she's on Six Lacks label, right? Black. Oh, I know exactly who you're saying. I know, but that was rude. <laughs> Tried to nah, that's a lot of us who call him that. Okay, still over it. Came out in 2021. It just says Summer Walker. It doesn't say any label. Does it have a record label? Did you put in Summer Walker's record label? I'm on Spotify looking. Let me check the credits. LVRN. Love Renaissance. Oh, that's, that that's them? For? Oh, I have no idea, but your guess is better than mine. LVRN slash Interscope Records, Sony Music Publishing. Yeah. <clears throat> and his name is either Justin or Justice. That's the one. Yeah. Why, why did he say yes? <laughs> Oh, you're right. Love Renaissance Records. Yep. Is an American label. Justice Baden. Yep. Justice. And his last name was on the tip of my tongue and I couldn't remember it. So, and it's a group of them. But <laughs> who made this decision and why? And, and and I want to see Summer Walker do great things. And I want, you know, who, who could she have done? Because it was bad. And, and, and 
if you've never been here before, we love Mary over here. Like Mary, yes, we do. Mary is our girl. Like, Mary J as a, dies. As, as a collective, as a squad, like we stand, we love Mary down. Okay, and yes. her thighs. We love Mary down. We don't, we, we don't, there is never any Mary shame or any Mary slander over here. Right. So we want people to do right by Mary. Yes. And this, this was hell. Oh, thank you. You finally, you finally getting to the non-love parts. This was hell. He was dancing like Mary J. Blige for a little while there. I was dancing. I admit that I was dancing because I, I, because ugh, it pains me, someone like Summer Walker, who we know she has the talent to sing, maybe not sing Mary J. Blige's songs, but to sing, it pains me to have to say that about her, that this was hell. But here we go. Say what you got to say. I know you got to Oh, it's, it's my turn. I'm, I'm, Whose turn would it be? <laughs> I mean, you was dancing for 40 minutes, so you know. <laughs> listen, listen. Niggas always exaggerating. Uh huh. Anyway, <laughs> unlike my co host, I will not be all over this dancery. I'm going to keep it very real. <laughs> Right, exactly. Right. You want to be all over the dancery. I don't. All right. I'm going to be at the bar with a stiff drink telling the truth. All right. You over here. Yeah. Keep dancing. Right. Danced all over that topic. <laughs> Shit. Listen. Summer Walker is good at what she does. What she does. Not what Mary does. I don't know why they had Summer Walker cover these Mary records, but it sounds horrible. I'm sorry, Summer, but it was not good. What? What are you laughing for? It wasn't good. I'm sorry, Summer. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it wasn't good. Truth is truth. I'm telling the truth out here. I don't want to dance. I didn't come to dance. I came to tell the truth. I came to give my opinion. In my I'll opinion. Dance. Nah, I made money move. <laughs> That's you. Now, now you want to talk, huh? <laughs> now you want to talk? But it's my turn. That's that's you though, right? Oh, uh, sure. Mm -hmm. You don't dance, you make money moves. I don't dance. Anyway, my point <laughs> is... <clears throat> Summer, this was bad, baby. This was not good. You should not have accepted this. This is not your vocal range. It sounded bad. The wig looked bad. It was bad. I was even going to talk about the look. It was bad. Yeah. Come on, man. Listen, it was bad. Poor Mary had to sit there and fake the whole thing. Mary probably was sitting there like, this what the fuck y'all honored me for? This what the fuck y'all honored me for? I could have went up there and did that way better with my eyes closed. Mary probably One hand said, tied behind my back. Mary probably was backstage flipping after this. Who the fuck? Who's, who did this? She was like, I who made me look like that? And holleration. She was definitely full of holleration. You know what I'm saying? I, ca I came with the hateration. You came to dance in the dancery. I came to bring the hateration. <laughs> Summer, baby, this ain't the one. I don't know why you accepted this. Maybe like my freestyling friend here, you were under some kind of contractual or, you know, label pressure. Man, y'all should have got SZA. Or somebody with the vocal range to do this. And maybe SZA is not even a good example. I don't know. Now I'm freestyling. But my point is, the Whisper Singers can't do Mary J. Blige. Sorry. Janae, Summer. This ain't for y'all. You got to get somebody with the vocal chops who could go up there and really bust it out. Mary has a distinct, unique style. And everybody can't do it. And that was made very clear here today. Sullivan? Maybe. I feel like Jasmine Sullivan could do it. She has that, like, I don't know. I don't know music terms, but <laughs> she has, like, that full-bodied sound where even if her and Mary's sound are not, sounds are not identical or not 
the same or in, within the same range, she still can sing it in a way that does it justice. Got it. That's that's why I say Jasmine Sullivan. I feel like that's the first person that comes to mind. Got um, you. I can hear her singing I'm going down. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. I think she would kill it. Um, and again, it's not a question of anybody's talent. It's just that everything doesn't work for everyone. And and when these tributes happen, this this is actually pretty common where people get selected for these tributes and it don't make sense. This a bomb. Is comment. Yeah. This was a bomb. This was terrible. Oh, excuse me. And Shade Room is shady. <laughs> they were foul for that. Mad sarcasm. Right. People, I went, normally for something like that, I wouldn't check the comments, but I went in the comments because I was like, did I miss something? Is it good? <laughs> you know, you start questioning yourself. I went in the comments, people were like, now Shade Room. Because <laughs> Shade Room know damn well they shouldn't have did that. <laughs> they do that shit all the time, though. They be like, they, they, it's like, you know what it's like, Drake. I know we talked a lot about Drake yesterday. Yep. That last comment we got, I didn't understand it until after we were done. But it was about Drake and Tory Lane. But here's what, sh here's an example of what Shade Room does. Shade Room will be like, Drake has something to say about Tory Lane today. Or, or they'll say something like, Drake wanted to let y'all know a little something about Tory Lanez today. Why y'all so messy? <laughs> that's their brand. It is their brand. But yeah, that's, that's, um, yeah. And we, we, and we could do, we could talk about that later in the week, actually, that whole Drake and Tory Lanez thing. But, but yeah, um, I don't know why they did this. Me either, but I wish I'd never saw it or heard it. Sorry, <laughs> audience, but we love y'all. Viewers, listeners, we love y'all, but y'all had to suffer with us a little bit that time. Yeah. No, I when I saw it, I knew that I knew that you you had to know. Yep. And then then they had to know. What kind of co host would I be? Yeah. Right. And what kind of platform would we be if we didn't share that with the good folks? Right. But uh yeah. Like maybe y'all gotta pick better gigs for summer, cause I wanna see I wanna see summer thrive. 